I feel like it was just fate. When I first got him, he was really shy, but he just made it so easy. He really attached to my daughter super quick. Once he met her, he just opened up a lot more. He wanted to be a part of her. He was just hooked. And she was just completely okay with him. He spends more time with her than he does with me. I put my baby to bed in the crib. I put sushi in there, just thinking maybe they'll sleep together. Once he learned how to get up to the crib, he just wanted to sleep with her all the time. He always wants to be there. He wants to be included. There's not a time where she's sleeping and he's not there. They're always cuddling. I love when I feed her and he just wants to be included. He'll just lick her face. I think that's the cutest thing. Every time she starts baby talking, he'll get up from whatever he's doing, jump on the bed or into her crib and be like, hey, what's going on? Unless she has a dirty diaper. That's the only time he's not next to her. He's clingy to her, I, I know that. But after a while, he was just super clingy to the point where he would just always lay on her chest. And they come to find out she had an upper respiratory infection. I was more so shocked that he noticed before I did. So I was like, well, that makes sense. He kept sleeping on her chest. When I brought her back from the hospital, they were just inseparable. Like he did not want to leave her side. I feel so relieved that he caught it. It's like having another parent because I can just leave her in her crib and do certain tasks around the house. And I know that she's good because Sushi will just be right there next to her and she'll be fine. She very much loves him. Really happy that my daughter and my cat just had a really good friendship from the start. And the fact that I know that she will have somebody there to grow up with, they're soulmates. <laughs>